What's older than we think? The first carbonated drink to be sold to the public was invented by Swiss watchmaker and amateur scientist J. J. Schwepp in 1783, who sold his delicious sparkling water to thirsty customers in Geneva. In just seven years, he was doing business so fast that he moved the factory to London and introduced a new flavor, sparkling lemon, to stand out from competitors who were trying to imitate his drink. The aux connector that we still use for headphones and speakers was invented in 1877. There have been improvements since, but the basics of it are pretty much the same. Beer is thought to be older than bread. It's much easier to fill a jar with wheat and water, let it ferment, and brew beer than it is to grind grain, mix it, and bake it. Sharks. As a species they are older than the rings of Saturn. Wristwatches. Queen Elizabeth I got one in 1571. Touch screens. We think they are one of the main defining features of modern technology, since they only really got big in the late 2000s slash early 2010s, but they were actually invented 55 years ago in 1965. It's kind of crazy to think about, but while most of our grandparents were getting rid of their black and white TVs, researchers already had touchscreen devices in the labs. It wasn't really until the 80s that it really got good, but by 90s it was easily sophisticated technology. In fact, Microsoft even had a Windows XP tablet out by 2001 that had seriously good finger slash stylus recognition, but it didn't really pick up until smartphones became a thing a decade later. You could also consider the magnetic drawing board to be a touch screen, since it more or less has a stylus and surface for you to draw on, but that was actually invented later than the touch screen in 1974. National Geographic was founded in 1888. I was really surprised to discover when Oxford University was founded. They don't know the year for sure, but they know there was definitely teaching going on there in 1096. The fact that the lighter is older than the match shook my head as a kid. It also gave me the curiosity to question things that seems obvious. The electric car. What is likely the first human carrying electric vehicle with its own power source was tested along a Paris street in April 1881 by French inventor Gustave Trauvé. The first crude electric car was built in the 1830s, but it was essentially a semi-functioning model. The electric car was a direct competitor to gasoline-powered vehicles until the 1920s, when roads got better. People started driving further than the range of an electric car, and the world started finding major oil reserves. Escalators have been around since 1859, though they were called rotating stairs. Cruise control, power windows and automatic headlights. I saw all three on a 1955 Cadillac. Oh, and the radio on it had a seek function. Sharks. Sharks as a family are older than asterisk tres asterisk. The ancient Romans, well, the wealthy ones, had central heating in their homes. You can actually still see the pipes in some of the buildings at Herculaneum. Fax machines. They were invented in 1843, before the telephone. Semicolon. Left square bracket. Flushing toilets date all the way back to the Indus River Valley Civilization, back in 2000 BC. Aureus. I was shocked to learn that Aureus predate chocolate chip cookies, sliced bread, and my 100-year-old great-grandmother. The sentiment that modern society is degenerate, and that the youth are to blame is, I Ike, one of the oldest things we have written down. That I can remember off the top of my head. Cato the Elder complained that the younger generations were becoming too Greek, and Socrates used to complain that the younger generations were ruining their brains by writing instead of memorizing information. There are far more older examples, but those are the oldest I remember. Maybe Socrates was onto something. P. Edit. A few people have pointed out the Socrates thing is a misquote, so maybe Pseudo Socrates was onto something instead equals L. Brain surgery. 
In 1997, archaeologists discovered an ancient tomb in the French village of Ensichim from 5,0 BC, which contained the decomposing body of a 50-year-old man with holes in his skull. After a thorough examination, it was determined that the holes, located near the frontal lobe, were caused by a type of surgery, not by forced trauma, and the operation appears to have been successful because the wounds healed before the patient's death. To this day, however, researchers cannot say for sure what exactly the surgery was trying to fix. Light. It may only take 8 minutes for light to travel to Earth from surface of the sun, but the light bounces around inside the sun for over 10,000 years before it reaches the surface. The name Tiffany. It dates back to the 12th century and has actually led to a thing in writing called the Tiffany problem because you can have a well-researched historical novel that people just don't buy into because you named your 12th century peasant Tiffany. It just sounds laughably anachronistic. Contraceptives such as condoms were around a very long time and made of hard leather. Paul Rudd. Nintendo. This company was actually created in 1889. The year 1990. We are as close to it as we are the year 2050. Beer. It's one of the oldest prepared drinks in the world. It not only predates every civilization, but actually contributed to their creation. I don't know if this counts, but dinosaurs lived on the earth a lot longer than most people think. When you think of dinosaurs, you think of their extinction, but they roamed the earth for 165 million years. Compare that to our 6 million, and it's almost mind-boggling, at least imo. Edit, the modern form of humans is 200,000 years old, but if we include our humanoid ancestors, we've been here 6 million years. Edit 2, I get it, dinosaurs are still around. What I meant to say was the dinosaur era. Trees. There are a lot of trees that are one and are older than you would expect. Social media. Wealthy ancient Romans had a system where they used slaves as scribes and messengers in order to share gossip and art slash poetry and news updates with friends in their social circle. Netflix. I feel like it is only a few years old, but it was invented in 1997. Stonehenge. It predates the oldest pyramid in Egypt by nearly 300 years. We are farther from the release date of the first Back to the Future movie than Marty was from 1955. Google, Reddit, YouTube, it's hard to imagine that they already have been around for 15 years with Google actually being around 20 years old. Our entire generation has now grown up that cannot remember that it wasn't always there. Ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids. The ancient Egyptians were as old to the ancient Romans as the ancient Romans are to us. Contact lenses. Leonardo da Vinci had the idea of contact lenses in 1508 and the first successful contact lenses were made in 1888. Oxford University. It's older than the Aztec Empire. Humans with our intelligence and empathy and rationality. People in the past lacked education and our culmative knowledge, but even cavemen thousands of years ago didn't differ too much from us. Cave of Forgotten Dreams, a documentary about cave paintings from 30,000 years ago really drove this home for me. The art there is so expertly rendered it really shows a thinking and curious mind. The food at the back of your cupboard. Touch screening cars, that has been around since 1986. In my experience, a lot of people I know personally don't realize that music cassettes were invented in the 60s. Cassettes didn't really take off in the states until the late 70s, but the first albums released on cassettes hit shelves in 1966.